Hey, nigga, where the fuck you where from? Where you going, white from? If niggas ask you where you from, you better not say nothing crazy. And nine times out of ten, they only asking to see if you from the ops hood or not. So if you state your purpose for being in their hood and keep it pushing, they probably gonna leave you alone. Hey, my cousin live right here, bro. That's all. Oh, I okay. carry on. Hurry up, man. All right. See now, you already fucked up. You wearing a chain in the hood, nigga. You asked her to get robbed. Yeah, I ain't going lie, bro. That chain sweet for Let me see that over. bro. Now, when a nigga asks you to let him see something that belongs to you, that's just a polite way of robbing you. The best thing they do is to politely decline and try to get yourself out of this situation. Hey, bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't even take out my chain like that. I ain't going to lie. I wasn't asking for Let me see that over. bro. Yeah, see, now the nigga's aggressively robbing you. And you can see by the trajectory of his hands, he's probably got a gun. So the best thing to do at this point is give it up, nigga, because whatever you have is not worth your life. And yes, these niggas will shoot. Damn. Hey, let me see them shoes too, fool, bro. Take them off, fool. Hurry up, nigga. Yo, bro! Now, if somebody calls out to you from a distance, Whatever you do, do not turn around. Especially if they don't say your name or you don't recognize their voice. Because I guarantee you, the moment you turn around, you will be made the late. So all you gotta do is act like you ain't here, cuz, and keep walking. Because what do you have to talk to a stranger about? Hi, Now, if you see a bunch of niggas chilling in the stairwell, don't trip, cause nine times out of ten, they mean no harm. They're usually in the stairwell just chilling or smoking. One of them might have a gun, but that's nothing you gotta worry about. As long as you don't act weird or look that funny, you're gonna be chilling. Just say what's up to them, and when you going up the stairs, say excuse me, and they probably just gonna assume you going up to get some pussy. What's up, fellas? Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, not sure about the way. Now, if you in the hood and you see somebody getting jumped or robbed, mind your damn business. Especially if you don't know the nigga. Because what does that have to do with you? And let's say you did help them, right? You never know why they was getting jumped or robbed. And now all of a sudden you in some beef that don't even belong to you. So the best thing to do in this situation is just turn around and act like you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> now, if you peep a bunch of niggas staring at you, I don't care if you feel their eyeballs burning in the back of your head. You do not stare back. Because the moment you do, they gonna think it's a problem. And they gonna try to solve it. Because in the hood, stern is often linked with conversation. So unless you want to fight 10 niggas, I suggest you keep your eyes forward. Fuck is you looking at, bro? Hey, bro you got a problem, bro? Hey, bro, I can use your phone to call my mother real quick. Now, this one from my youngins. If anybody older than you asks you to see anything of yours, I don't care if it's a bike, a DS, a phone, you do not give it to them willingly. Let's see what happens when you do. Uh, sure. Yo, yo, I, yo what you doing with my phone, bro? What phone? Now, this is what I call the Debo method. So in this case, you pretty much just robbed yourself. You handed over your property to somebody you don't know or trust. And you can get it back, but you gotta see them for it. And the nigga knows if you were sweet enough to hand over your property, you're not gonna fight for it. That's the term, Debo method. Bro, you just go bumping me and not say nothing? Bro, what you want, right guy? Crush you right now. Now, if you about to fight someone in the hood, I say you think real hard. You know what that's saying that niggas don't be fighting no more? It's cause they don't. Niggas really rather shoot nowadays. And even if you fight and win, you can still lose. Your life. A nigga's ego is one of the most fragile things you could come across. If a nigga feel like you crushed him or embarrassed him, he gonna bring out that hammer. So unless you're ready for gunplay, if it's not that deep, I say you just let him have it. Hey, bro, you know what, bro? You got a lot. Two brands, bro. Nah, who's still there, bro? You eyeball this shit. Matter of fact, bro, I'm gonna fuck off. that. Now, if you in the hood and you see niggas arguing and you hear one say, I don't give a fuck about none of that, I suggest you run and duck for cover because approximately 4.53 seconds after a nigga says that, bullets will start flying. So unless you want to get hit in a crossfire, I suggest you get low.
Now, I don't care if you let the bank, the ATM, or your grandmother gave you a little something in your birthday card. You do not count money in the hood. If you do this, you're pretty much just making yourself a lick. For those of y'all who don't know, a lick is pretty much just somebody who's easy to rob. Now let's get back to the video. Now, it takes niggas approximately 2.23 seconds to spot a lick. So the moment you started counting money in the open, it was over. See, now you're about to get raw blind. I know your first thought is to probably fight back, but unless you want to fight for your life, I suggest you just give it up. Oh, and yeah, they probably gonna take your phone too. Yeah, hey, yo, hey. Hey. My phone. 